Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 4 KV or CBSE computer chapter 3 exploring windows. The outcomes from this chapter will be creating a folder, how will you will learn how to create a folder, how to delete a folder, how to rename a folder, move a folder, make shortcut of a folder on desktop, search particular file and folder in the computer. So all these things we are going to see. So the operating systems, the main operating systems that we work are Linux, Windows, GUI and Unix. These are the commonly used operating systems. So we are going to learn about Windows. The Windows Explorer lets us view, open, copy and manage our files and folders in the Windows operating system. So in Windows 8, the live tiles can be seen by clicking on the windows logo or clicking on the left bottom corner of the window. So we'll see uh, about this uh, windows one by one. So this is how it looks a normal window. So you can see all the um, app or the applications in the main start window. Here you can see the window. This is the start window. If I click here, you will be getting all the app applications in this. So here it is settings, my settings. And uh, here if you click, you will be getting sleep, shutdown, start. This is the start of Windows. So here you can see, so this left side is, this is the components of the file explore window. So here the left side, this is left pane. Next, here you can see back, forward and up button. See, this is back button, this is forward button and this is up button. Next, this pane. Third, this is ribbon. So you can see navigation pane, uh, preview pane, details pane in the ribbon. Next, so this part is address bar and you can uh, see um, the file list here this is file list next column headings you can see so this is column headings sixth one so name date modified type size all these details you can see that is column headings here you can search the documents that is search box Next is status bar. Status bar you can see in the bottom. So you can see the status of each particular file or folder. Next is details or preview pane. Say here you this is the preview pane. So we'll see this and details in the next. Uh, see the components of the file explore window. So this is left pane. So this quick access desktop, this place is left pane. It is used to get all kinds of locations and drives. So here you can see all the locations and drives. Next you can see back, forward. So this is back, this is forward and this is up button. This is used to navigate through locations or files. Next is ribbon. So this is ribbon. So this is navigation pane. Uh, preview and detail. These are, these are used for entering or selecting a location. Next, this pane is file list. This is where the contents of the current folders are displayed. See, it is displaying what is present under documents. Next, file list. So, this is the file list, list of files. So, under the documents. Next, you can see column headings, name, date, modified, type, size. These are the column headings. Next, this is search uh, box. Next, you can see the down. So, if I click my files, uh, I, uh, here you will be uh, getting two items, one item selected. So, that is the status bar. So, next one is details or preview pane. So, this is the detail pane and this is the preview pane. So, these are the components of the file explorer. Next slide. So, panes of Windows Explorer. 
So on clicking the view menu, see here you will have home, share and view. On clicking the view menu, you can see navigation plane, preview pane and details plane. The panes, so that is home, share, view is here. Under view, this is navigation pane, this is preview pane and this is detail pane. So here, this is navigation pane. So if I click on the particular item you will be getting this is details pane where you will see all the folders or files in the particular folder then this is preview pane so here you can see the preview so this is preview so this is the three panes so next we'll see working with folder in left pane folder left pane so so how you are to work is, see I am going to open, so these are the folders under desktop. Suppose I am going to click this PC. Suppose if I am going to click this PC, under documents, you can click, if you click, you will be getting the files in the left pane. So suppose if I click on the pictures. So I can easily drag and drop here. So this is how you can work with left pane. So I can cop key, uh, copy easily. I can uh, paste easily. So I can save. Uh, if I want to copy something here, I can uh, just drag and drop it here. So this is how you can work with left pane. You can... Uh, create new files you can move files within the folder so i can also move this camera roll here in desktop so if i click uh, here you can see the camera roll i can drag and drop so here i can also create new folder so i'll tell you how to create a folder so uh, click right click and then you will be having new folder so here it is new folder so suppose the uh, uh, folder name is my documents so this is how you should create a folder suppose if i want to name rename it i can click here click on the particular uh, folder here you can see rename so click on rename my file so i have renamed as my file suppose i want to move this my file under camera roll so i can also do that so i am going to click and drag it and put it under camera roll see now if i click camera roll i'll be having this my file so this is how you can move a file within the folders suppose if i want to delete the folder right click so right click on the particular folder So here you can see delete. So delete the folder. I have deleted the folder. So next we'll see modes of view. So you can have extra large icons, large icons, medium icons, small icons, list, details, tiles and contents. See here. So under view you have extra large icons, small icons, tiles, large icons, list, content medium icons details first we will see how so this is how a large extra large icon looks like next if i click small icon this is small icon this is how the small icon looks like next is tiles so this is how a tiles look next you i'm going to click large icon so this is large icon and this is medium icon next list so this is listing of icons Next content, so it will be displayed with the content. Next, with the details, it will be displayed. Date, modified, type, size, all these details will be displayed under details. This is how viewing different uh, files, different types works. So, this is the naming, file naming convention. So, for this, you have to use a backslash see here you can see the backslash so this 
backslash is used for telling the path of the file inside a computer. So in this uh, uh, file naming convention, you are both uh, capital letter and small letter are equal. So example, if you write name um, some uh, uh, my file. So suppose this is a, a file name my file. And if you write it in capital, both are same. So may, that is the case, case sensitivity. Do not assume case sensitive meaning is both small letter and capital letter are equal. It will consider both the small letter and capital letter as equal. So you can see on the top, the folders will be separated by backslash. So C colon under users, under, uh, yeah, under uh, desktop, under captures you, you are in. So this is how the files are separated. Next, you should not use these special characters. So, uh, if you if you can name like um, uh, my file, my file. So you can name my file dot txt. So next, my file dot doc. So for PPT, you will be using this extension. For Excel, you will be using this extension. So this is for Notepad, this is for uh, um, MS Word, this is for PPT and this is for Excel. So except these, you should uh, use for naming any files for folders. Next, we'll see how to name a file. So I'm going to create a file. Suppose it is text document. So in this text document, I'm going to create as A, B, C. Suppose if I click question mark, it will not accept. Question marks will not accept. A file name can't contain any of the following characters as we saw slash, colon, asterisk, question mark, quotes and so it should not contain any of this. So it is not accepting my file. So I left it as ABC. So this is how you should uh, create a file. Searching files. One or more files can be searched by using wildcards. You can use asterisk to name, uh, to uh, search any file within your folder or computer. We'll see how to do this now. For example, suppose if you want to search any um, Word document file, just write name.doc. So you know that is that a Word document file. So you are, uh, if you type this, you will uh, be searched with all the documents with this name. Suppose if you want to search all the files with Word document. So in that case, you can give asterisk dot doc. So when you uh, search with this, the system automatically brings all the Word document. Suppose if you want to uh, search all the PPT, you can use this. If you want to search all the notepads, you can use txt. If you want to search all the Excel files, you can use this. So this is how you should search many files of that particular extension. So I have already searched. So it is star.doc. So I'm getting all these. So under document, I have all these files. So if I want to search, this is document file. If I want to search any PPT, I'll be getting, I'll be doing this PPT. So I'll be getting all the uh, list in PPT. If I want to search any text document, so text document dot txt. If I give, I'll be getting all the tag, uh, txt file. If I want to search a dot mp3, I'll be, uh, I can give all the. I'll be getting all the mp3. 
Next, creating shortcuts. A shortcut is a link to an item on a computer. So you can create shortcuts and place at your convenient place. So to distinguish, you will have a arrow mark. So the normal original file will not have will be a normal, whereas the shortcut file will have this arrow mark. So different to differentiate normal file and the shortcut file. So an arrow mark will be given to create a shortcut. So um, this is my files. I'm going to create a shortcut of my file under desktop. So I'm going to create a shortcut. Here create shortcut is given. I'm going to create a shortcut. I already told that to differentiate normal original file and the uh, shortcut file you will be having an arrow mark so this is the shortcut file so here you can uh, drag this shortcut and i'm going to drop it in the desktop so so here you can see the my files shortcut so this is the desktop so I can see my files shortcut here if you want you can just delete it so I'm going to delete it so my shortcut has been deleted so this is how it works so next we'll see question answers what is Windows Explorer Windows Explorer is the file management application in Windows it allows a user to manage files folders and related components Write at least two points about the uses of Windows Explorer. So you can um, view, open, copy and manage our files and folders in the Windows operating system. What is the benefit of creating a shortcut? So it's quicker to open a file. It saves time. Fourth question, why the file extension is important while saving it? File extension allows computer users to quickly identify the nature of a file's contents. It is easy to search a file. file. Fifth question, how can you search the particular word file in your system? Open search, you can type the file name dot extension. So this is how you have to search the particular file in a system. If it is the word document, since the question is word document, you have to uh, search with dot doc or dot uh, dox. Next, lab work. Search and locate the files that you have created, myfile.dox, family dox, and cut, copy, or drag them in your new folder, say my work. See, first you are going to create myfile.docx, family.docx. Then what you are going to do is, this uh, will be in a folder, say my files my documents so under my documents create my file family so another folder you have that is my doc my work so this is my work this is my document folder so you're going to cut or drag this here so this is the lab work that is given. Search and find the number of audio files dot mp3 is there in your computer. So I'll uh, show you how to find this. So what you have to do is you have to type star dot mp3. So mp3. So mp3 if you click you will be getting all the details. So together you have to find the details of all so you have been asked to find the size here it is given five items selected and the size of it is 79.1 mb so this is the file size of all these mp3 files so chapter uh, 3 exploring windows ends here hope this video is useful thanks for watching